Hey there, readers. All right, um, hopefully at this point you have completed your reading map test um, and you are now in the process of completing your asynchronous activities. Um, so I'm just gonna go over some basic instructions for today and what you should be completing as far as reading is concerned. That'll be our focus today is reading. Um, so let's talk about what you guys should do first. All right, and you wanna make sure that you complete all of these activities. All right, the very first thing that you guys are going to do is you are going to complete a text structure practice inside of Google Classroom, but you will find the link below. Um, I feel like an influencer when I say that. Click the link below. All right, but there will be a link below that'll send you into Google Classroom. And when you guys are completing this activity, it'll probably be helpful to have your reading notebook out beside you with your text structure handout um, beside you as well. So I'll share my screen to show you what I'm talking about. So this is going, like I said, it's going to be located in Google Classroom and you'll find the link here. It says complete the assignment in Google Classroom. All right, you're gonna go to text structure. All right, it's this right here. You have your instructions um, and make sure you watch the video first. Congratulations, you found it. All right, so essentially what you're doing here is you're going to read the small passages that are in the greenish tealish boxes and under each box you're going to identify what text structure you think the passage is so over the past couple of days we have been talking about the five different kinds of text structure and you can see that they're listed right here we have compare and contrast sequential or chronological problem solution cause and effect and description so you're going to read the five different passages and then you see where it says answer right here you're going to type out what you think the passage above is, what text structure is it? Is it showing you, is it comparing contrasting two things? Is it putting things in order? Is it showing you a problem and a solution, a cause and effect, or is it just describing, okay? So that's what you guys are gonna do for this assignment. There are five different passages that you need to read and identify their text structure, okay? All right, so when you're all done with that, make sure you hit turn in this assignment. All right, if you go back to, our Canvas page, it says complete the nonfiction reading group assignment that's in Google Classroom. All right, so that link will also take you to Google Classroom, but this is the assignment that we're talking about, animal ears, just like we've been doing the last couple of weeks. You're gonna think about your, the text, you're gonna preview the text, make some connections to it, then you'll read it, and then, the, then there will be three questions that you'll be answering. All right, one of them will be a text structure question, so you can, again, use this handout to help you. All right, after you have completed those two things, all right, I wanna make sure that you guys are completely ready for revising and editing come Thursday. All right, the, uh, that's when we are going to start typing up our final copies uh, for this piece of writing that we've been working on for quite a while. So if you need to spend some time getting that finished up, you need to make sure that you're doing that because the only thing that we should be doing on Thursday is typing up our final copies. So if you're still drafting, that's a huge problem. You need to make sure that you're ready to rock and roll, okay? And I've been tried in conferences with as many of you guys as I can and kind of gauge where we are. Some of us have used our time so well, some of us not so much. Now is your time to get caught up, all right? Of course, you do have other assignments for math, for science and social studies that you'll need to be completing today, all right? But make sure that you're also prioritizing your writing so that you're ready for class time come tomorrow. All right. All right. If you are in a good spot, all right, then what you should do is you should read for 20 minutes independently. So you're either reading a book um, that you maybe have in your book box. If you're here at school, you're reading on my on. All right. And there is a timer that is linked in canvas for you guys to use a 20 minute timer um, for you guys to be reading. Um, if you have extra time, of course, you're welcome to read more, um, but definitely make sure you're reading at least 20 minutes. All right, guys. So it you need to make sure that you complete all of these assignments today, especially those two reading assignments. I'm going to be looking, making sure that you are following instructions and completing your classwork. Um, you also need to make sure that you're ready to rock and roll for writing and final copies tomorrow. All right. So uh, I look forward to chatting with you guys about your map test um, and your writing as we continue to work on that. Um, make sure that you're taking care of what you need to take care of. See you later, guys.